Unless you're new to my channel, then you might know that I have several videos which show the interior of airports, both groundside and airside. Groundside and airside are divided by the security checkpoint. And in the United States, these checkpoints are commonly operated by the Transportation Security Administration, or TSA. The people in the blue uniforms that you see working these checkpoints are called TSA agents, but their formal names are Transportation Security Officers, or TSOs. So what do the TSOs do? Well, their exact duties may vary, but common responsibilities might include answering traveler questions and providing them with guidance, cooperating with other law enforcement officers to complete investigations, ensuring the safety and security of all travelers and areas, evaluating screening images to look for abnormalities, identifying dangerous objects in bags or on passengers, managing crowds of travelers and redirecting them for efficiency, monitoring travelers for potential threats, operating imaging equipment and electronic detection devices, patting down travelers when necessary, performing additional testing on items to confirm hazardous materials. If you're interested in becoming a TSO, then I'm going to give you the steps on how to do that. So you want to be a TSO. The first step is to find an open position. And since TSOs are federal employees, these openings can be found on usajobs.gov. Go there and create an account if you do not already have one. Log in and search for Transportation Security Officer. You will probably see several openings, and you will see the city where the position is based. For example, you might see openings in Charlotte, North Carolina, Dallas-Fort Worth, Phoenix, Arizona, Atlanta, Georgia, and so on. And you will see the starting salary for the position in that area. TSA uses a grading system called SV, which is a discrete salary system with pay ranges. Airport security salaries typically begin at the D pay band, which for a TSO is between $28,293 and $42,439 per year. In addition to this base pay, individuals can receive locality pay depending on where the job is located. So the locality pay is going to be different, which is why the starting salaries for these positions are different in different cities. When you find a position and select it and decide to apply for it, you can read about it and it's going to tell you the requirements for becoming a TSO. These requirements are you must be a U.S. citizen or a U.S. national, and you must be at least 18 years of age. You'll have to pass a drug screening, a medical evaluation, and background investigation. You'll be subject to post-employment random drug and or alcohol testing. If you're a male born on January 1, 1960 or after, you must be registered for the selective service. You must be available to work various shifts and overtime as needed. Mandatory travel for training and occasional travel might be required. After you apply and you meet the minimum qualifications, then you might be invited to take a computer-based test, a CBT, to confirm proficiency in English and critical competencies for TSOs and to evaluate X-ray interpretation aptitude. Upon passing the CBT, you'll receive a contingent offer of employment. If you accept, you will move on to the additional assessments. Within 14 days of passing the CBT, you must submit standard authorization forms which allow for the release of information and allow TSA to run a credit check and a background check on you. The TSA is prohibited from hiring candidates with certain criminal convictions or delinquent debt. You must complete a form called E86, which is a National Security Questionnaire. It asks you information about past addresses, jobs, and information about your family and friends. After all that is complete, then you might be contacted 
by an airport to schedule an airport assessment. The airport assessment involves a structured interview, fingerprinting, and a color vision test. The structured interview is an assessment method designed to measure job-related competencies by systematically inquiring about behavior and past experiences and or proposed behavior in hypothetical situations. The structured interviews ensure candidates have equal opportunities to provide information. Interviewers use standardized rating scales to assess candidates accurately and consistently. Then there will be a medical evaluation, vision and hearing exam, and adequate joint mobility exam. This determines the physical potential to repeatedly lift and or carry up to 50 pounds, stand for three to four hours, and walk up to three miles during a shift. During the federal drug test, your urine sample cannot test positive for illegal drugs, including marijuana. When everything is completed, you'll enter what they call the ready pool. Your ready pool status stays active for one year, and hopefully you'll get a job offer before then. The airport might extend an offer and schedule an entry on duty date based on their needs and schedule. If you get hired, you will need to complete the TSA Academy. The airport will provide specific details about further training. The TSA Academy is located at the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in Glencoe, Georgia. There, you will receive nine days of classroom and practical training.